Okay, it's now 6.30 and I'm rested up from getting this pheasant ready. I've got it trussed and it's rinsed and I'm going to do a Scott Rayo recipe. I've decided to tackle it tonight because my spouse won't be back until maybe 9.30 or so tonight. Now this is unsalted butter. These are lardon that's uh, streaky bacon, and these are smoked. This is 12 peeled garlic cloves. This is a Savoy cabbage, not a huge one, but uh, not a teeny one. It's cored and quartered. This is a bunch of thyme. This is a pulopo cube. That is a uh, chicken stock cube and I would have liked to have homemade chicken stock but I don't have any so I'm going to use this with one cup of water and this is salt and pepper this is my trusty cocotte been with me many years and I'm going to do his recipe and I don't edit or provide links so I'm just showing you the ingredients. What's going to happen is the butter's going in. And I'm going to get some more of it off of this paper. This is Bridel brand. And then I'm going to like sear, kind of cook the garlic cloves and get them started, get them going well and take them out and then the lardon will go in that will continue to cook in the hot butter they will come out the cabbage will go in and it will be covered and it will sweat down and wilt down quite a bit it will also have um, some time put into it and probably a little bit of salt and freshly ground mixed pepper there are different colors of peppercorns in there and there's a couple of at least a few juniper berries in there um, oh excuse me no 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 the first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is uh, brown this in the hot butter and then the garlic and then the lardon and you know then the uh, cabbage and thyme and uh, <coughs> <coughs> as I said finally when this is ready I'm going to um, put the ingredients back in with it tucking the garlic and the lardon around it the thyme will stay in I will fish that out right at the end before uh, serving and this is going to be browned all around by moving it around propping it up against the sides moving it with tongs and uh, carefully because I don't want it to untruss and I don't want to damage it any more than I did with the unpeeling method that I showed you for getting the feathers off and gutting it for the other um, in another clip. So this is getting hot and when it is hot this is going in. It will then braise in an oven which I'm not going to start heating yet. This is one of those convection air ovens. Oh that's not the right time. It's about an hour early. Um, and uh, uh, it, it's around I think it's around only about 104, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I think it's gas setting one on a British stove. I'll have to look at a temperature conversion chart here. It's a very low uh, setting and with the cup of water and the uh, uh, chicken stock cube and everything else in here it's going to cook breast side down with the lid on in the oven for an hour and a half. Now it won't be served for dinner tonight. 
I'm going to try to unobtrusively leave it in the oven and when my spouse has gone to bed quietly put it out on the windowsill. It's very cold out there and that's where I stash a lot of things. Um, it's like extra, you know, extra refrigerator space because this is not really a huge refrigerator. I, I made room for it up there but uh, the, the pheasant was resting for a little bit before I decided to go ahead and do this. Okay, wish me luck. Pheasant with choux de Savoie. Faisant avec choux de Savoie. Okay, <laughs> bye.